kind of back to to our regular schedule here with a Wednesday practice. Um, next two weeks, you know, we'll be on schedule. Any questions relative to Green Bay? Yeah, look, I, I, it's a good question. You know, the, the last 48 hours, we're, we're evaluating it. Uh, if we need to, we will. Um, you know, I'm sure he's frustrated, just let, like, you know, we are formed. So um, we'll see, though. We haven't done that yet. Sean, I'm curious, the, the trend across the league this year in terms of red zone kind of struggles. Defense has been really good. In the yeah, this past weekend was noticeable. Um, um, good question. I would say the one thing that's different for me from coming back after a year is, you know, there, there are a lot of teams playing this red three pretty well. Um, you know, offenses with the turbo and the jet sweep motion, there's certain defenses that are a little bit easier to adjust to it. Now in the red zone, I can't, I can't speak for the season, and I'd like to be not involved in that trend. Um, but that being said, you know that I know it's always a long night. Uh, there's a lot you study. It starts with the running game. I've said that before, and uh, you know we we need to be better in that area. I think we started off the season pretty well, and then you know of late it has hasn't been as good, um, and so. You know, those third down snaps in the red zone are, are real critical. I've said this before, you know, it, it's a four point play really. If a third down's converted in the red zone, there's this big jump in touchdown percentages. Um, and then what you do on third down in the red zone may not be what you do on third down in the field, obviously, because of your space. So, um, you know, a lot of attention to detail from, from a league standpoint, um, you know, I was aware that we talked about it, you know, the other day. So um, we just got to focus on what we're seeing. Go no, go ahead. You had a follow-up. Yeah, follow up How does the mobility of your quarterback kind of change things? Specifically well, I, I think in general, and this, this goes back to Bill Walsh, you know, he wanted quarterbacks that could move. You know, Montana, to, to some extent, was – pretty athletic in the pocket. Then he had Young, who became obviously a, a more of a threat. And so we're seeing more of that. And look, uh, you know, a lot of times when we talk about these off schedule plays, it's because the pocket is off schedule a little bit. And, and you know, we don't live in that perfect world. So we can practice it on seven on seven, routes on air. And then um, one of the things that I think Russ does a good job with is he will work you know, certain plays even on air where he'll flush and, and get the reactions accordingly. And, and so, um, you know, that's something that, um, you know, certainly is a plus. Sean, um, Russell Wilson was solid the first five games, fourth in passer rating. What was the difference last Thursday against Kansas City? And how do you got, how can you get him back to the league? Yeah, I, listen, we'll, we'll get him back. And, and, you know, I thought there were certain elements to the plan that I, I didn't like. Um, and, you know, I, we can correct that. Um, but that being said, you know, uh, and I said it after the game, uh, I, I was pleased with how we ran the ball, and yet we didn't throw it nearly well enough. And, and that wasn't just on him. Um, and so I'll, it starts with me relative to, you know, finding those throws for him. Uh, you know, drive starters, for instance, for first and 10 throws that are higher completion percentage throws. And, and those guys, you know, are playing good defense, um, and and that too. You know, we knew going in, but um, but I think that's I think that's real important. And, and look, it's a good question. It's, it's something, you know, even during this three four four day break, you know, all right, what are the things now we can that that can get us ahead of the chains early on? Uh, Go ahead. Uh, you have a guy like Greg who creates a lot of um, unique mismatches, and then now you don't have that element. What's the challenge? Well, look, it's. It's any team that's missing a corner or missing, um, you know, a player. So there's a piece of something as a starter that that you don't have. And then uh, it doesn't go to one person, but it's probably spread out in the offense relative to what what we then do. And, and uh, 
And it's, look, it's, it's our league. You know, it, we see it each week with, with teams losing key spots, you know, key players. Where do Jefferson's touches go while he's hurt in Minnesota? Where to, you know, and, and that's up to us to figure out each night. John, uh, Green Bay's had a all the quarterback for 30 years. What's it like? Is there, I guess, a transition? Yeah, look, I, when I first got into the league in 97, it was with the Eagles. And one of my jobs as a young coach was cutting up, you know, all of Green Bay's offense. At that time, it was Holmgren. It was Favre. You know, I had to cut up San Fran. There was like six teams that, that I was in charge of each week. Um, and then over the years, always having coached in the NFC, you know, we saw the transition from Brett to Aaron. Um, man, and you, you don't take that for granted. That's a lot. So I'm sure there's a lot of pressure that goes with that. And, you know, here's another young player that has waited and has this opportunity. And, and so, um, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. You know, you, you have a transition like that, and, and eventually some of these elite players move on, and, and who's next? And, and so in the meantime, you know, how do you, how do you, and I don't want to say young player, but young relative to starting, you know, you, you, you help him with good defense, with a running game. You help him with elements as he progresses. And, and look, they've, they've groomed and trained. And they were drafting quarterbacks as a commodity long before anyone else in the league was. They were drafting Brunel, Ty Detmer, Aaron Brooks, and then trading these players if they, you know. And so they were kind of ahead of the curve. And, and that goes all the way back to Ron Wolf and, and a credit to, you know, everyone that was involved in that process. So... Ted Thompson, late Ted Thompson. I, that was, you know, pretty, pretty smart business. Really looking at it, relative to how important that position is. Yeah, look, we have to take advantage of, of that. And you know, we've got great crowd noise. Um, our, our fans are fantastic. I just finished talking about it. You know, we got a stretch of two weeks in a row here at home, and and so. Um, I think that's important. You haven't gotten out to the start you wanted, obviously. And you had expectations coming into the season. Now, what is the message that Brock has spent people trying to get they, it, it's, it's, look, there's, there's a fine line here between a groove and a rut. And, you know, you take a look at, I'll give you an example. Detroit, you know, a year ago was, was sitting, and I, I watched it as a media member covering, they had a, a handful of tough losses. They were one in six. Um, I know Dan well, and, you know, you keep fighting. Um, you know, there's a grit element involved, you know, some mental toughness that's involved. And then pretty soon, you know, here they are at the end of the season. They, they, they win. They're eliminated before that game played, but they were in that contention. And then, you know, here they are now as one of those teams. Um, and so, you know, we're kind of, you know, in that position where it's, you know, we're bowing up and, it's, and we have to. On Monday, you said you want to give Jerry Judy more opportunities to make plays. Is that simply just getting him more targets, or is it more Yeah, good question. I mean, there's times where you can call a primary. With each route we have, there's probably a primary, right? And then, you know, certain coverages dictate where it might go. Um, but as I talked about drive starters with Russ, there's certain ways, you know, that you can get – there's certain receivers that, that – and, and I don't know that Jerry's one of these, but, but man, a touch early on can go a long way or a lack of a touch can, you know. Um, and so, man, all those years when we had a number of really good receivers, there, there were certain ways where you'd say, hey, let's, let's make sure we, in the opening script. Um, but Sutton, look, he's, he's playing well. We got Mims. You know, there's that battle of, you know, he's – He's dying to break out, and, and part of it is is us, me, you know, you know, giving him those opportunities, and and so um, those are good problems to have, and, and we'll work on that. I saw it. I don't worry about it. No, no, um, no. I mean, I I think when everyone sent that to me, it was like uh, you know they and it's this game is so spontaneous and fast and and. You know, the language teams can look at, you know, everything's on tape. And so, um, you know, that idea of signing the practice squad player off the other team right before you play him, the only benefit that would be, 
you know, health of the team, you know, in-depth, you know, you know, information regarding how guys, you know, are they healthy? Who's, but, um, yeah, it's, 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 um, it's hard to take that information, for instance, and then bring it in the division, let's say, and look at it and say, all right, these are, you know, here are the two minute. Well, um, there's a ton of things we change with, you know, each night we've got a new, not audible, but a term we use that we might. And so trying to give a defensive player, hey, this is, you know, that guy's going to look at you like you're nuts. He's, he's going to, I got to play. I got to, and uh, so I don't, I don't think much of it, um, but I saw it. Well, listen, listen, it's, there's, some teams are really good at it. You know, like when we sit in our pro advance, you know, every, every Monday I hear Marcus talk about the release of the quarterback. You know, sometimes um, you're going to play quarterbacks where the ball's not, you know, going to come out pretty quick and then having, you know, some guys have good instincts with vision through and then timing and then some guys don't. Um, and so when it happens with a certain defense, I, you know, that's, I credit coaching and, and so you have to offset that somehow, maybe where the pockets at change up, you know, the launch points and, but, um, you know, that, that's something that I think there's certain defenses that coach that better than others. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.